So just just for Kev down there, we'll say, uh, hey, how you doing? It's JJ. We have come up to visit back to basics and the camp. Look at this. How cool is that? So this is what uh, Kev and Phil and Sally and a few others have built up over the last couple of years. How cool is this? So this is on a permission that Kev or Popeye as he's known has had for a few years. Let's have a look inside. Just throwing some more light. Look at this. Say hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. How about this? How about this for a shower? That is pretty cool. Look at that for a stove. That is awesome. And what they've just recently done is originally it used to just come back to, to here and they've opened up the back. And that just gives a load more room over the back here. I know it's a bit dark, but they've got, let's come over this side. You'll see a little bit better. So there's camp bed there, camp bed here. There's another one over the back there. Nice table, kitchen serving area. Just all made with pallets that they brought in and using the, using the, the wood. That stove is absolutely fantastic. They do a lot of cooking on that on here. That is brilliant. It replaces the smaller one that they had in there. Sit down bench, workshop bench. And that, this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. Now obviously I've known the guys for a couple of years since I first met them in 2018 at the Bushcraft Show. And uh, yeah, whilst, whilst we're up in Brecon, we've just traveled down there the other side of Carmarthen, and there you go, there you go, pretty cool, I've taken some pics, it's only a short little one, but yeah I think the guys have done really well with this, this is impressive, nice let's just come back Wendy. outside, I see you and I'm just going to go up over the back, and what they're about to do, their next sort of project is Four trees there they're going to put up a, a platform up here which will be about 15 foot up like a viewing ledge and um, to put put hammocks up as well so you've got some real elevation and there's a lovely little stream that runs down just behind the cabin and goes down uh, I've just taken a wander around. There's, there's, there's quite a few uh, good species of fungi and mushrooms uh, because it's in like this little wooded valley. It's, um, it's great. There's, there's, there's some massive, massive proper ferns and bromeliads. And it's brilliant. And a nice little bridge that goes down the back of it. Let's just show you the back part. So I'll say I'll, I'll whack some pictures in. So they open up the back and uh, just to give a little bit of daylight, they've put that clear plastic on the back I and mean, it's all been properly done. It's absolutely awesome. Absolutely awesome. So there you go. Camp back to basics. I'll throw some pics in. It's in the lovely woodland. Private permission. Fantastic. And then just out the front in the old little quarry area and that as well. They do run a parachute, which they haven't got up at the moment as well. So there you go. Camp back to basics. Catch you later. Thanks for tuning in. Bye. Uh, so we're now now back at our camp and that for the evening. It is an absolutely glorious, glorious evening. It really is. Um, left the bloody tripod again in the car. So uh, if it's a little bit shaky, it's because it's me holding it. So yeah, an absolutely stunning drive back from um, camp back to basics with uh, Kev, Phil and Sally. 
Uh, it was brilliant seeing the camp, it really was. And we've had a lovely drive back. We've actually grabbed something sweet on the way back, so we're both really hungry. Absolutely stunning, beautiful evening. Um, I'm just going to square some of the kit away because there's rain due tomorrow. Um, just looking at where we are, trying to get a tarp attached. There's, there's, there isn't actually much, much scope for it. So I'm going to move a lot of the stuff into the levee now and just unwind, chill out. And uh, if I don't come back in on this little bit, I'll see you in the morning. I think we've got a couple of more adventures planned for tomorrow. So catch you later. You take care. Hey, good morning. Uh, it's a bit of a wet day today, so me and Jane thought if we're going to be getting wet, we might as well see water on all levels. And we are doing the four waterfalls walk near Estravelta. Hope you can hear me. Obviously, it's pretty loud. This is the first waterfall, big, clean path. Pretty cool pretty cool. Not bad, eh? Bring you in a bit later on the other one. off on our way to the second and the third falls come out to a bit of open space a bit of a clearing with bracken and that there's loads of uh, uh, rose bay willow herb so you make a lovely cordial out of that stuff uh, it's one of them drizzly days it's not absolutely lashing down but it kind of keeps you cool it's lovely it's really nice so we had a good wander and a mooch around visiting a few places yesterday and then uh, seeing the guys at back to basics and a lovely evening back at camp slept really well woke up uh, properly about half nine this morning and we had a nice proper cooked breakfast out somewhere off a cup of tea at camp and now we're off to a few places today so let's have a look see what these other falls are like bring you back in in a bit Oh, that'll make an amazing run in a kayak in full spate in winter. Stunning. So this is the second waterfall. Uh, this is a uh, number three fall. I've left Jane at number two. It's quite a trek up to this one. Absolutely stunning, stunning. Woo! Just gonna come along here a bit. Look, a little bit of water just running along here. A little bit of a cascade. Oh. Uh, this is the number four waterfall. Can't remember the name of it. Pretty impressive though. 
there is as you can already see there's a couple of people behind it you can get behind it so uh just going to make a way up to it and uh get some pickies have to excuse the jerkiness of the camera i'm just walking over loads and loads of rocks Right, that'll do for the minute. That's it, that's the full waterfalls walk, woohoo! That's it, we've done it. The full waterfalls walk. That last one was fantastic just to get behind the actual waterfall. I was talking and that, you'd probably not be able to hear me. But uh, now we're back up on top, climbed up out of there. And, uh, We've got a lovely view of um, mist, uh, a bit more mist, yeah there's a bit of mist over there, it's about 40, 45 minutes walk or so back now, but great. Dad, that was for you, Dad you would have absolutely loved that, but your old legs, they wouldn't have done that as much as I love you, I can't piggyback you down and up that Dad, so that was for you Dad, when you watch it, you'll love it, right. That's enough from this one. Catch you a bit later. So after all that water that fell from the heavens and fell from the waterfalls and the side of the hills, we decided we'd have a bit more water. So we've we're now on the Gower Peninsula, down on the Mumbles, the famous Mumbles. An absolutely glorious evening. We got back to the car at about five o'clock, got changed, and we thought, come on, let's do it. So right over there in the distance is Port Talbot. Swing around, Swansea. The bay is as calm as anything. Absolutely stunning. Stunning. I mean, you can still see, if you look right over, that's the direction right across the bay, Swansea Bay that we've come from. Still massive clouds hanging over the, the beacons right at the back. But we decided we deserved a little bit of sunshine and a bit of warmth. So uh, here we are. We're just taking a walk along the promenade. We're gonna go and find some fish and chips. It's gotta be done. It's gotta be done. Nice way to sort of see the day off. From water up in the mountains, falling off the waterfalls down to the sea. There you go. We're uh, just had fish and chips at the beginning of the pier. Absolutely glorious evening. Sorry, the sun is, uh, that's better. Just come down to the lifeboat station. Obviously that's closed at the moment to the public and that because of the current situation. But 
this is the end of my adventure our adventure in Wales in the beacons and the waterfalls and the woods and the coast had a brilliant few days absolutely brilliant few days probably get a couple of videos out of this at least just want to say thanks to everyone tuning in subscribing and for watching don't forget leave a like and a comment and I'll get back to you but from sunny Wales catch you later